Hey everyone! Today I'm gonna talk to you about what do I do if my piercing is infected. I've been getting a lot of requests for this video and a lot of questions. Also a little bit of a disclaimer, I am not a professional piercer yet. So, oh my gosh, my piercing is infected, what do I do? I'm gonna show you what to do and it's super easy. First of all, you need to see if your piercing is actually infected. A lot of people think their piercing is infected, but it's actually not, it's actually irritated. Did you get it done by some guy in his basement? Did you do it yourself? Or did you go to a professional piercer? If you went to a professional piercer, the chances are of it getting infected is a lot less. Look at the piercing, is it red? Did you get it pierced like a month ago and it's all of a sudden it's like red and swollen? If it's pussy, normal, secreting of piercings is like clear liquid or white liquid that's coming out that's fine but if your piercing is leaking yellow or green stuff then that's not so good does it hurt is it stinging is it aching see if the piercing is hot is it radiating heat like for example if my nose piercing was like infected i would go here and see if it was like warm or hot is it giving out like heat so if your piercing is red swollen leaking yellow or green pus and if it's hot then it could be infected now i'm gonna tell you the deep dark secret of what to do if your piercing is infected this is super important so if your piercing is in fact infected don't touch it and go to your professional piercer and have them look at it that's it that's all you have to do no sea salt soaks don't touch it don't remove the jewelry if your piercing is infected, if you looked for all those warning signs, go to your professional piercer. If you got it pierced in some guy's basement, or if you pierced it yourself, if you think you have an infected piercing, go to your professional piercer and have them look at it, and then they'll take it from there. There's no point in you being like, oh shit, my piercing is infected. Let me mess it up more by touching it and removing the jewelry. If you remove the jewelry and it is infected, the infection could get trapped inside of it. This is a really short video. That's all you need to know. Some tips for avoiding your piercing getting infected is go to a professional piercer. I can't stress this enough. I think in every video that I put is go to a professional piercer. It's seriously one of the most important thing. You need to invest in your body. You don't want like some shitty stuff happening to your body. You want the most healthy thing. So you're gonna first of all go to a professional piercing and get it pierced. That reduces the chance of your piercing getting infected by a lot. I don't have like a scientific statistic to give you or anything, but it definitely helps. And then once you do that, listen to your piercer's aftercare. If it's if your piercing gets irritated, do sea salt soak. It's not a magic trick. You can't really do anything if your piercing is infected, but go see a professional. Well, that's it <laughs> for this video. I'm going back to school in the summertime, so it might be a bit slow again. One of the things that gives me joy is making YouTube videos. If you like this video, like it, share it, subscribe to my channel. That would be super awesome, and I will give you internet hugs if you want. I hope you had a really good day and a beautiful unicorn spirit comes and blesses you and you find five dollar bill and you get to keep it <laughs> have a nice day that's it bye